It's finally time. Welcome back to the third and last part of making my most recent plushie commission. In part two, I sewed all the main components, and now I'm just doing all the fun little detail and hand sewing bits. Before I could completely close up the body, I had to cut slits in the back for the snake tail, the two quilted wings, and of course, the hoofed feet. The only thing left was adding my remaining arm, and then I got to stuffing. One of my very first TikTok videos that actually did relatively well at the time was a DIY on how to make your own recycled blend stuffing. While I didn't do that this time, I always, always use a scrap specific to this project when stuffing the dolls, but I'd love to make more of my recycled blend stuffing in the future. If you've been following my process for a while now, you know that I always include customized little hearts inside of each doll with secret messages on the inside. It's for the historians. They'll thank me later. I hand sewed the horns on, painted the safety nose, hand sewed the muzzle, and then did a lot of structural support stitches, such as spiraling thread around the horns and mouth lines to create a more characterized doll. I love how plush and huggable he came out in the subtle detailing work. Thank you, Cassie, for commissioning me again. He's ready for his new home.